So I'm going to do a bit of a playthrough um, for the way to get started in my Toy Soldiers battle game. Um, over here is all the other teams. Um, so we've got green, tan and red. I have made more, but uh, these are the ones I've come with. I've got the battle mat underneath and some terrain, but just to save time, I'm going to keep it as it is. You've got your dice to play the game with. You've also got your D20, which is your health. And over on the other side is the dice for the other team, one soldier, and the D20 for health. You also got the movement templates. I have to move a full length of one of these, so uh, you would start obviously base to base contact with the movement template. To move the whole length of this would cost two actions, unless your soldier's got a different ability that allows it to be one. So it would be one, two. And just to keep things a bit simple, obviously, because it's a small game, so and and you could possibly have six actions in a turn. So the way it would work is you set your health counter at twenty, and you deploy your team. So to deployment, from your spawn marker, um, from your health marker, sorry, you would place your movement template. You can then place your soldier anywhere along that. So I'm going to place him right at the end here. And the same on the other team, so we'll just deploy them. Okay, so in this quick run through, there is uh, no cover as you can see, it's just an open playing field. Um, just walk you through how the dice work. So, first of all, you would roll your action die, this determines how many actions you can have for this turn. So, two. So, for the green team, we're going to have two actions. So, that can literally be um, moving your guy into cover, moving you into closer range, or just generally um, climbing up terrain or getting close to the enemy. So in this case we're going to move forward. Uh, and it would be one, two, and that would be my actions. I have got the rules for this, um, which I can happily put on copies or do a full playthrough and explain how the rules work once I've got them uh, printed off as well to have on to just a hand. Uh, now I don't think we're going to be in range, so long range works with three of these templates. But we're currently still sitting in, uh, yeah, we're outside of long range. You can shoot outside of long range, I have accounted for that, uh, based on weapons and stuff. So obviously different soldiers that you've got in your team. You've got a guy with a minigun. Um, we've got this sprinting soldier, he's basically got like a normal uh, machine gun as well, but I've got the whole, um, like I said, in the rules, it gets out with which soldier's got what, as well as taking into consideration that he's got a handgun. Um, you can have base to base contact, and we've got missiles and things like that. Um, when it comes to missiles, uh, grenades and stuff, you've got your attack die, but because they're obviously like a grenade and it's explosive, you've also got the boosted attack die, and you would roll both together uh, to buff your attack. Um, so we've only got two. Uh, at the moment we have two actions so we can't really do much with those. Um, so we'll move over to the red team. Again, we'll roll the green die. And he's got four actions. So he's going to move um, one, two. And then we're going to check for range. So one, two. So his green would be in long range in this instance. So just to show how firing would work. Now each soldier has two health. Um, Obviously, your D20 is set to 20 as your maximum health for your team. Um, we'll try not to knock it over. Uh, and if you reduce that by 2 in your attack, um, again, outside of long range has abilities. So you would, uh, the player controlling the green team in this instance, because they're going to come under fire shortly, um, would then get the chance to remove any soldier from their team but obviously this is the only one in the game at the minute so he would um the health really should be set to two versus two but it's just to show you like the maximum of what it would be um so red team's gonna fire at green uh easy he, he is in he was in long range wasn't he? so just double check that yeah he's in long range um which again off the top of my head, I believe he's in long range, less likely to hit. Um, so he would roll uh, the attack die for three. Um, and you need to score a four plus, I believe, at long range to to cause any sort of damage. So that's actually just a miss. Um, but that would count as an action to shoot. 
bear in mind he had four actions. Um, so he's moved for two and he's shot for one. So he's only got one action left. So he's probably just going to try and refire that as well. Again, three, so a bit unlucky this time. So his actions are spent. Now green, green was quite close there. So rolling the green, he's also got four actions. And uh, we're going to get him in closer. Probably through there, so that's two. We've spent two actions, we've got two left. And again, we'll probably just roll for an attack. Two, miss, and we'll roll again. A three. We're not having the best of luck, but you get the gist. Um, if any of them threw a grenade, you'd roll this. And just to simply, if, say, green shot and he rolled a four, that would be one hit. Blue would get, um, red would get to roll the blue defense die and simply just roll to avoid it. Uh, and that would also count as a block. Um, so I've gone for simply either rolling the same or higher um, to block. Uh, obviously if red had, if green had rolled a six, it would count for two. Blue would have to roll a six to block one of those hits. And you can see yeah, simply a simple game for toy soldiers. Uh, just wanted to make it fun. So when you've got your whole team, it works out better with the amount that you can have on your team. But yeah, thanks for letting me know. Uh, to, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and um, just let me know what you think.